you have had one of the most amazing months that a human being can have. <laughs> Let's check it out. You win the World Series, okay? And then right after winning Game 7 of the World Series, your team wins, you fly to Italy, am I correct? Correct, yeah. To marry Kate Upton. <laughs> That's... That's a dream I had once. That's not, <laughs> that's not a real thing that happens to anybody. You mean uh, this is real life right now? No, no, this is, oh yeah, this is, trust me, you'll see this is quite real very soon. Uh, <laughs> no, but I'm curious, I'm just very curious, like, uh, what's, how do you, how do you match that? I mean, what's next month gonna be like? <laughs> what Down, do you do from here? <laughs> downhill. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. No, that's I a mean, good thing to tell your wife. Yeah, right? It's I'm all sure, downhill from now, I'm baby. I'm super excited about that. Um, Man, I don't, I don't know. It's kind of like you, you, you kind of want to decompress, but, yes. but you, you're on such a high that, like, we went on our honeymoon, and we wanted to, to like, chill out. Hey, we're just going to relax, and we're going to take a few days and not do anything. Well, day number one, we kind of did that. Day number two, we wake up, and it's like, what do we do now? Right. You know? Because <laughs> like, you've, got, you've got not only adrenaline from getting married, but also winning the World Series. Oh, yeah. You've that... got both of those adrenalines combined, <laughs> So, you, first of all, you were late for your own wedding, weren't you? Uh, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, we, we planned this thing, obviously, a year in advance. Um, you know, and we did a destination wedding in Italy. And so there's no really changing that. So we decided that, in talking through this, there's only one thing that could really screw up our plans. Game 7 of the World Series. <laughs> so sure enough, you know, we find ourselves in Game 7 of the World Series. Doesn't it suck? <laughs> <laughs> That's you, what make, we get. <laughs> you make plans and everything just goes to shit. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what we kept telling ourselves. At least it's for a great reason. It's and, for a and, great reason, yeah. And then we were getting, we're getting FaceTime calls because it was a destination wedding. People, we had people there early. We're getting FaceTime calls from our guests. We had a party planned and we're still in LA. Get, haven't even played game seven yet. We're getting FaceTime calls from our guests saying, hey, your, your wedding's beautiful. Wish you were here. Yeah. <laughs> At least they knew, it's not like anyone was stupid enough to go like, where are you? <laughs> Why aren't you here right now? <laughs> so at least you know, I mean, what an incredible, what an incredible experience. So you show up uh, late, you're late for your own wedding. Yep. You have the wedding, okay? Uh, but you also had games and things that you would organize with the guests, didn't you? Yeah, so we showed up. Uh, obviously, being a few days, uh, we planned a game day, which, um, you know, we split up all our guests into teams and had uh, colors, different colors and teams, and we scheduled a day of, you know, like cornhole and ping pong and balloon throws, see how, you know, see how far you can throw the balloon and not break it. What's it like when you throw a balloon? <laughs> Does it go 100 miles an hour and actually tear <laughs> someone's face off? <laughs> Well, I bet you ruined more fun tossing <laughs> games than anybody. Here it comes. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> they were. All, they all kind of did sound like throwing games. Yeah, that's true too. That's, I like how you've. Point. Yeah, yeah, I like yeah. how you arranged it. So it's not trivial <laughs> right, pursuit. Right, right. Yeah. It's let's chuck stuff around. Yeah, let's see how accurate you are throwing right. something. Right. Yeah. We'll yeah. You should have thrown, thrown it just for Kate like a th walking on a stage <laughs> game. <laughs> She's pretty good. <laughs> Kate's pretty good. I imagine she is good. So we yeah. get off the plane. We literally flow, fly. You know, game seven. Celebrate. Uh, wake up the next morning early, fly straight to our venue. We get off the plane and walk straight into another competition. Right. Uh, which, you know, I, of course, I, I lost the first game of ping pong I played, and I'm like, that's it, I used up all my karma. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, you ruined your arm playing ping pong at your... Now, I would imagine you are a competitive guy. Do you get competitive with Kate when you two are playing games? We, we, we have come to the conclusion that we have to be on the same team. If we're not on the same team... It doesn't go so well. Yes, a marriage counselor will tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I always try. I always make sure I'm on the same team as my wife because if you're on the other team, the part of me that wants to win takes over, and then I'm like, in your face. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, welcome to my life. Yeah. I wish I'd had the counseling before having to find that out first person. You know, it just occurred to me. You had the wedding right after Game Seven. What if you had lost? Would you have been able to pull it together? <laughs> or would you have been a real dick at the whole wed at the wedding? <laughs> Seriously, would you be like walking down the aisle like, whatever. Uh, <laughs> oh, uh, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we, we talked about that and we just kept saying, hey, it's, it's, it's for a good reason, it's for a good reason, but thank God we won. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>